Hey, this is on TV about them facts. How y'all doing? So here we go. You know, we've had, mm, you know, done the last week, quite a few hits. Hit men on, on the prowl. So here go one. He had already got caught. And here go the other one. So they done got into it. And just opened fire 25 times in an alleged game hit. So this man, I don't, I don't think they're going to show his face. <laughs> I'm not. Had a hit put on him. And these partners, these fellas, these. <laughs> come out and just open fire on a busy street. Park Avenue. He got caught some time ago. They just popped him. Let's listen. This lady right here said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Can I show your face? Heck no. Mm-mm. No, sir. I'll tell you what I saw. But it, <laughs> you can only record the back of my head. <laughs> I don't blame you, sister girl. I don't blame you. Anybody who will open fire in broad daylight and unload 25 shots, have a hit put out on somebody, they don't have uh, no no problem with, with shooting you. They they don't. So. Park Avenue is for a man newly died after he says someone fired nearly 25 shots into his vehicle. Anytime two people pull up to shoot 25 times into a car, it's pretty sad. Leading up to the shooting, the victim told police that he got into a dispute with a gang member, which likely resulted in him getting shot. Despite his injuries, he was able to identify two of the men believed to be involved as Cortez Williams and Ladarius Wiggins. <laughs> While Williams was arrested back in September, Wiggins was just arrested and charged with criminal attempt first degree murder and reckless endangerment. Those who live nearby are still reeling from the impact of this crime. Do you want to You just shoot them once, like 25 times a waste of bullets is a waste of your time, and if they catch you, then you just got to just deal with it. Both of the men now charged are believed to be affiliated with the same gang as this months long investigation comes to an end. Wiggins remains in jail tonight on a bond set at $150,000 and is expected to appear in court on tomorrow. So I wonder who called this hit. <laughs> who put up the bag? Did you collect the bag while he was in jail? Is that what you did? Oh, you... Oh, y'all missed. Oh, okay. Ooh, we man. Okay, well, you know, listen, y'all need to stop putting hits on folks. That's not good. Because now you got an attempted at murder charge. And whoever called the hit is what? Walking on the street like ain't nothing happened. Y'all locked up. They free. Y'all locked up, they free. Are they going to bond you out? Because he's still in there. Are they going to bond you out? Make smart choices. That's not good.